Hello, my name is Carly Stoughton and I'm a technical leader with the NCMA Business Unit responsible for ACI and the Nexus 9000. Today I'd like to do a brief overview and demo of integrating Clicker and Cisco ACI. Major trends that we're seeing in the data center primarily is a shift to a hybrid cloud model. Sure, I would love it if every customer had an ACI-backed data center, but the reality is we need to support customers that are perhaps using Amazon AWS or Google Cloud or Rackspace, uh, perhaps for their dev test environment, uh, and have a combination of both that and their own private uh, ACI-backed data centers as well. So what we can provide with the uh, recent announcement of the acquisition of Clicker is to provide a true hybrid cloud management solution. Clicker sits on top of all of our customers' clouds, be it ACI, VMware, NSX, AWS, Google Cloud, Rackspace, and so on, and acts as a single point of management. And what Clicker really delivers for our end users is a self-service application portal oriented towards developers. So that literally within two clicks, I'm able to deploy an application from a catalog that's available to me. The reason we need to have this agility is because of the growth of things like shadow IT. Users these days, if I'm not able to provide an application when I want it, when I need it, where I need it, our users are going to swipe their credit card and go elsewhere to deploy that application. So with Clicker, I get that self-service application portal oriented for my developers and it truly enables a hybrid cloud environment. The three main use cases we have with Clicker integration into Cisco ACI uh, is first and foremost our tenant and application onboarding. What this means is Clicker allows me to do the day-to-day -day activities of deploying application profiles, endpoint groups, contracts, and filters. Clicker also allows me to have a multi-pod or multi-site environment. For example, I may have three ACI data centers. I can use a single instance of Clicker to deploy to all three of those data centers. Even if they're managed as three independent ACI clusters, I can use Clicker to sit on top of that and be my central point of management. Third use case, Clicker also enables public to private cloud migration. So perhaps as I'm developing in an application, I'm allowing my developers to run that in AWS. Uh, as it goes through the application development lifecycle, I may want to move that application in-house onto my production gear. And Clicker does allow you to migrate workloads from one cloud to another. Let's take a look. This is the first page that I'll see when I log into Clicker. And this is more from an administrator point of view, going to give me an overall snapshot of what's going on uh, on my clouds. So first thing I'll point out here in the upper right, you can see that we have three clouds that we're able to deploy to. We have uh, an Amazon AWS cloud that we're connected to, and I have two ACI VMware back data center clouds. I'll also see how many applications that I've deployed, any deployments that are running out there, and what the utilization looks like. However, most of my day-to-day -day users, my IT consumers and my developers, are going to be over here in the Applications page. This provides a catalog of pre-built applications that you can import from Clicker's site and from elsewhere uh, that define what an application looks like. And this is what really gives you that true one-click experience of deploying an app. So let's say I'm an IT user and I need to deploy a new roller web blog. I'm going to start a corporate blog for within my company. I can just go ahead and select this application, give it a name, and then all I would have to do is click submit here and it would go, Clicker would go ahead and deploy these virtual machines and push the policy to ACI. But I wanna point out a couple of things on this page before I submit. First thing here is this idea of tags. Um, if I have uh, different tags that my administrator makes available, things like dev, prod, and stage, what they're able to do is cloud governance. 
So maybe I select that this blog is production tag. The effect of that is different clouds will be exposed. So if I'm an administrator and maybe if I have dev test virtual machine, maybe I only want these clouds exposed. Notice that the AWS cloud went away. So I can do tags to determine which clouds are exposed to my end users. So once I've selected the clouds and environment that I want to deploy to, let's say this is a production blog application, we can see that this is a three tier app. We've got a database tier, an app tier, and a load balancer in the front. So this is an application that's already been modeled for us. Um, but of course, from that applications page, we can model our own apps as well. My day-to-day -day user will go ahead and select this blog, click Submit, and Clicker will go ahead and deploy these virtual machines. And on the back end, what it's actually doing is pushing an application profile, endpoint groups, contracts, and filters into ACI. If I go over here to my controller and I look at my clicker tenant that we've already configured to talk to clicker, I can see there's this new application profile based on the app that I deployed called Carly Test Blog. And I can see that this has already been modeled for me. I've got the three tiers that I mentioned, the database tier, load balancer, app servers. I have contracts as well, and you'll notice that there's also filters in there for specific ports. Since this is a well-known application, Clicker knows which ports need to be open and available and permitted between the different endpoint groups. So this was all pushed on the back end. Now that I have Clicker integrated with ACI, all my day-to-day -day use is going to be through Clicker. You would need to initially set up the APIC controller. You need to also do the fabric configuration uh, from the ACI interface. And you also still need to today create bridge domains and VRFs through ACI. But once you've done that initial setup, our day-to-day -day workflow can be done from the clicker interface. So this application is deploying. It takes a few minutes to deploy these VMs. They're being pushed out to a VMware server that we have connection to. So we can see this sample deployment. So two clicks, I was able to deploy this application on any cloud that I needed to run it on. And the beauty of this is the infrastructure configuration is abstracted away from my end user within Clicker. Notice that I didn't have to even understand what an application profile was, what an endpoint group was, what any of these ACI concepts are. Whether I'm pushing to AWS or pushing to ACI on the back end, Clicker is able to negotiate and translate that configuration and push the appropriate policy to the appropriate cloud. Now, if I'm more of an application developer, I'm probably going to want to model a new application. I have these pre-built applications that I can import, uh, but maybe I want to go ahead and make a new application or make changes to an existing application. The beauty of Clicker, if I'm modeling a new application or making changes, I simply have a drag and drop interface to model that application. I have the services listed here on the left that I can import from different sources. So maybe if I wanted to add another web server, it would be something as simple as a drag and drop and then mapping the dependencies within this deployment. Within each tier as well, on the right, I have the ability to specify things like the number of uh, CPUs and memory that should be available, different scripts that should be run uh, for that different tier of an application, uh, and also basic firewall configuration as well at the layer four port level. So this is pre-built for me for these apps, but if I was modeling my own, I could put the ports and protocols in here. And effectively what this is doing on the back end is adding these as subjects of filters within a contract back on the ACI side. Under deployments, I can see all of the applications that my users have deployed. 
And there are a lot of interesting pieces in the admin tab as well. So we can see here that I have the configuration of the three different clouds that I've exposed to my users, my two ACI VMware backed data centers and my AWS cloud, which can be managed from here through the clouds tab. Another piece that's very helpful is the usage reports. So based on the number of hours a virtual machine has been up, and depending on which cloud it's been deployed to, uh, we'll see the different cloud costs cumulative over time. This gives me a great way to do things like chargeback to different departments, depending on the amount of hours and clouds that they're deploying to. I can also do very granular uh, multi-hosted environment by creating things like usage plans, bundles, and contracts so that I can truly deliver this IT as a service and charge back based on usage and utilization. Also have the ability to do multi-tenancy. And as I mentioned in the beginning of the demo, these cloud governance tags that allow me to choose which clouds are exposed to my end users and where the users are allowed to deploy to based on the tag that they select. This has been a high level overview of Clicker. Again, my name is Carly Stoughton. Thank you for watching.